five colorways of the LeBron Witness 8. Which one do you guys like the most? I think this FaZe Clan edition was very solid. The collab with FaZe Clan right there. Got the green accents. Comes with extra laces as well. I'm also a fan of this Laker color one. You can never go wrong with that. Got the lion poking out right there. All black with the purple and gold accents. Definitely fire right here. Then we got this obsidian colorway that obviously was tried on. Gray and obsidian with the little hint of the university blue. Can never go wrong with this color combination either. Most recent colorway to release of the Witness 8. Gray, little forest green in there. Gum outsole, very dope. And then this mint green with the gray is definitely on point too. I believe they executed the Witness 8s greatly, man. They are a snug fit, a super snug fit, so you might have to go up a half a size maybe even a full size in this shoe. Cause when I tried it on, I did a full review on this one. My toe was poking at the top boy. So just keep that in mind if you're gonna pick up a pair of the Witness 8s. Three of the most recent Gore-Tex Jordan 1s that had released. Let me know which one you guys like the most. Kind of a tough decision, but I'll probably go one, two, three, but all of them are definitely impressive. So we got three recent colorways of the Cosmic Unity 3. All of them are very unique in their own right. Which one do you guys like the most? This is like the newest colorway that I found of the Cosmic Unity 3 here at WSS. Not a bad color combination on these. Definitely give me like a spring summer vibe. Let me know if you guys like these. Rate these from a one to 10. Then we got one of my favorite ones, even though it's more subtle, just black and white with that heather gray. I just like how it all sits together. The uppers look definitely impressive. Did a review on this shoe right here. True to size fit. Definitely good for indoors and outdoors for sure. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway. And I think this one right here really says something about the shoe and this silhouette all together. Just the different color tones and colorways that came with the shoe. 119 on a retail for this one. Let me know if this is a colorway that you would add to your collection. And of the three Cosmic Unity 3s right here, which one do you guys like the most? Comment down below. Three dope recent colorways of the Nike Zoom Vermeer 5. Which one of the three do you like the most? This is like the newest one, that orange colorway. Not sure exactly what this one's called. 160 on the retail though. Then they got the Vermeer 5 Lakeside colorway. Definitely have a full detail review on these. And then this colorway, I thought might have been women's exclusive, but I guess they got them in men's sizes as well. All three of these are dope, but which one do you guys like the most? The best silhouette, LeBron, Giannis, or John Morant? Let me know in the comments below. So of these four All-Star sneakers, let me know which one you guys like the most. We got the Zoom Freak 5 All-Star. Very clean, got the uh, patent leather touch, white with the red, the other shoes red with white. Then we got the Nike GT Hustle 2, giving a shout out to that Air More Up Tempo. Definitely a clean colorway on these, only 180 bucks on the retail. Then of course we got the Nike GT Cut 5, reminiscent of that old Jason Kidd shoe right here. I like the color combination and then they just executed making it look like one of the older shoes. Then we got the LeBron 21 Conkylin, which is also Actually, not the Conkylin, it's the Queen's Couch, the All-Star Edition, kind of almost in a look of the Oblong Pearl 21. But of these uh, Nike Basketball All-Star shoes for 2024, which one do you guys like the most? Then we got four dope colorways at the LeBron 21. We got the Algae colorway, which is definitely solid. Retail 200 bucks. You got the long hair suede on these. Then you got the LeBron 21 Conkylin. Full detail review on my channel. I love the iridescent pearl splash on that upper. Then we got the uh, Aragonite colorway with the denim material. Definitely a solid LeBron 21. Definitely fire. And then we also got the uh, Queen's Couch, which is the All-Star A Weekend edition of the LeBron 21. All four of these are definitely impressive. If I had to go on order, I might go, it's kind of confusing. Let me know what you guys list them in order. It might be, it's hard. I think I want to go Conkylin, Queen's Couch, Aragonite and then the algae, but that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Three solid colorways of LeBron 21. Of course, the first colorway that came out here at WSS, they still have at full retail of 200 bucks, but this is also a clean colorway and the materials on the upper is definitely on point. Then we got the LeBron 21 Ablon Pearl, or no, my bad, these are the Conkylins. Definitely a fire colorway for sure. Full detailed review on my channel. If you guys haven't seen that, make sure you check it out. And last but not least, the newest colorway, super dope. 200 on the retail. Will these sell out? 
You know, a lot of LeBrons don't sell out too much. Some of them do, especially bigger sizes. $200 on the retail for this one. By far one of the best so far, but they're getting better and better with each release. Let me know which LeBron 21 you guys like the most in the comments below. Definitely have to be quick with this. What do you guys think about these three Kyrie Infinities in Team Basketball colorway? Navy blue, gym red, and black and white. I don't think you can go wrong with either one of these. Any one of these, pretty fire. Now we got four colorways of the Immortality 3. Let me know which colorway you guys like the most. All-Star Weekend, this is also a newer release too. And we've seen these around, it's like the Alphabet Boys. I'm not sure what this one's called. They all retail for 90 bucks, but all the colorways are definitely solid. I like this black, gray, and white one, or black, gray, and red colorway. Can't go wrong with that. Let me know if you guys are feeling these or not. Then we also have Probably the second most popular colorway, in my opinion, for the Immortality 3. Very dope. Color combinations on point for these, for sure. Different color tone. Then we got the Alphabet Boys. There's also a Zoom Freak 5 with the same makeup and color scheme. Let me know what you guys think about these. And then we got one half of the All-Star Immortality 3. The other shoe is all red with white trimming. Definitely clean. But for these four colorways right here of the Immortality 3, which one do you guys like the most? And they both, and they have both colorways, the New Wave and the For Love colorway of the AE1s. Which colorway or which one do you guys like more? Both of these are pretty solid and there are some more colorways on the way for the AE1s. But let me know what you guys think about these two. And they have some of the latest colorways of the Puma mb03 we're in the grade school section though let me know if you guys are feeling any one of these colorways more than others but of course my favorite is this dexter's laboratory we do have a full detail review plus lacing tutorial and lace swapping because these come with extra laces i'm not so sure about the chinese new year or these other ones but lace swapping on all of these would definitely be on point even though the black and white laces go hard on that but let me know what you guys think about the puma mb03 Part of volume seven, the scarlet colorway. These are definitely crazy. This one is, this one is dope. These sevens is dope. Never seen these colorways. I know the heart been out for a minute, but these ones haven't dropped. The blue and white one is also hard too. Hardens be going in. This is probably like I said before. His, uh, I think his better silhouette. The sixes was pretty dope too, with the Achilles support. The fives were a little stiff. These ones right here are like for Kobe. This is like a Bruce Lee vibe right here. Shout out to the Harden Volume 7s, bro. These are crazy. Eat them up, you know? Who'd you get for the intro? Uh, Who does the intro for your show? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So we got two variations of the LeBron Next Gen. This is the original. This is one of the better colorways. That Laker colorway for sure is on point. 160 on the retail, make sure. Oh, these are retailing for 172. So they started creeping up the price slowly but surely. But so we got these for 170 bucks, the Laker colorway. Let me know if you guys are feeling these or not. Next to it, we got the LeBron Next Gen AM AMPD. It's the first game, representing his first game in 2003. These retail for 170 also. Slight differences on the sides you guys can see. They both have double swooshes. It's just this has that other layer over the top, over the mesh. You have the mesh material still here, but you got a leather layer right over it too. So a mesh base with a leather overlay. Not mad at these at all. We got these out. There's also um, another colorway. There's like two more colorways dropping of this shoe. But this one's dope. The I Promise one's not bad at all either. We have a full detail review on the I Promise colorway. And then this next gen is just on point. Of the two LeBron next gens, the regular and the ADMP, which one do you guys like more? Let me know in the comments below. Let's go ahead and check out, let's go ahead and check out Sketcher once again because I did get some good feedback. Yeah, last time we talked about these, people did say they liked them, and I just want to know which one you guys like more. Julius Randle, All-Star Forward. <laughs> Got a few colorways. All of these retail for 150 bucks. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these, and which one do you guys like the most? 
All of them retailing for 150 bucks. They got Goodyear rubber outsole, so they should be definitely good on the court. This one right here is not too bad either. Let me know what you guys think about these. Goodyear right there as well. 150 on the retail. Don't know if we saw this colorway last time there. I might have to grab one of these to do a retail or a review on these to see what's really good with them, how they feel on court. Don't seem like they got a lot of cushion on the midsole, but an NBA player hoops in them, so maybe they might. Solid colorway so far, pretty simple and plain, not too outlandish. Let me know of these four colorways of this uh, Skechers basketball shoe, which one do you guys like the most? Two of the more recent colorways of the Tatum one. We got the cool gray, and I guess this is like a, I want to say tie-dye or safari, more like a tie-dye feel. This is the most recent colorway that I have released. And then the cool grays are the ones before it. Paying homage to the cool gray 11s. Let me know what you guys think about the Tatum ones, and what do you think about these colorways? These 16 bads, still full retail at this location, with a 3M on there, as you guys can see. Very dope shoe. Two of the best players in the NBA, legendary players, of course, both of them Hall of Famers with some good shoes, and both of them have stepped up their shoe game as well. KD16 being one of the best of the West in a long time. And you guys already know what I think about the LeBron 20 and 21. Be honest, if you had to choose between these two Barclays, which one would you guys scoop up? For me, it's a no-brainer. Maybe it might be a little harder decision for you, but by far, it's gotta be the OGs, man. These are just crazy. Will these hit the sales rack at some point? Will these get marked down? Very dope colorway right here. What do you guys think about the job one? We got like six dope colorways right here. CNY, reverse scratch, duck no smoke. Red Sunburst, Emerald, as well as the Zombie. Zombie colorway, definitely one of his best, most gimmicky type colorways. 130 on the retail. Put some wet laces in these and you'll really like those. This is also a very solid colorway as, off as well. Rating this from a one to 10, I give it a solid seven and a half. Then we got the Red Stardust, the newest colorway. Don't drop actually to the spring. Some locations have them out pretty early. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these or not. The controversial duck and no smoke, which was right here underneath that patch, but they had to replace it based on everything going on with Jaw. This colorway is also dope, 120 on the retail. Reverse scratch colorway, also a very dope one as well. White with the black, you got that scratch marks on the outsole. Then we got the CNY colorway, Chinese New Year of the Jaw one. Let me know what you guys think about these. Got the hints of that gold, gold dubre. Of these Jaw ones, let me know which one you guys like the most. Got three Nike dunks right here. Pretty impressive. Michigan. I'll call them Georgetown and maybe UNC. Which one of these do you guys like the most? They're all pretty awesome though. But this colorway is fire. If they gave us better the materials, that would be a for sure cop. Then they also got the gray colorway. Pretty subtle. And then you never can go wrong with that Michigan color scheme also. Give me your thoughts about these three in the comments below. The selection is pretty much the same as we've seen at other locations. By far one of the best colorways of the LeBron next gen. You guys a fan of this colorway or do you like or do you guys like this one better the lebron next gen first game very solid colorway as well these by far might be the best two colorways in the lebron next gen in my opinion this is like the start of a new series for the lebron next gen it's like the acp or ampc uh 170 on these 160 on those which colorway do you guys like more we're finding these on sale, finally. I was wondering what was gonna happen, how long it was gonna take. Everything else, for the most part, went down to 79. The two most recent colorways, the uh, Honeycomb or Bus City, and the Whispers are still uh, 99 bucks. Then they got the Oreo for still full retail. Puma MBO2 collection. Pretty much every colorway that dropped. Let me know out of the selection which one do you guys like the most. We got the popular Rick and Morty colorway. They got it on sale now for 129. A lot of people were anticipating this colorway when it first dropped. One of my favorite ones of the MBO2. Next we got the Flare colorway that's on sale now too. This one, like I say before, reminds me of like Brett Hitman Heart, the color combination. Then we got the MBO2 Whispers, one of the most recent releases of this shoe. 
pretty solid color cell white and black next up we got the first colorway of the puma mbo2 the supernova when it first dropped i wasn't sure how i felt about it but the more i started to see it it grew on me 79 dollars at the current price point it's not bad one of the more recent colorways of the mbo2 this is the buzz city i love that honeycomb feature on the back the medial side looks much better more character going on. You got the iridescent splash on the back heel cup with his uh, logo right there. Definitely one of the best colorways of the MBO2 so far. Maybe top five for me. Do you guys agree? Very most recent release of the Puma MBO2. This is the Oreo colorway. Black and white with the uh, splatter on the midsole. Still full retail because it just came out. Dope colorway though. I forgot the actual name of this MBO2. Pretty simple, kind of went under the radar for me. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments below. Pretty solid colorway though. Then we got the Puma MBL2 Rookie of the Year, representing him running the Rookie of the Year, obviously. One of the more stylish colorways. This one and the Buzz City kind of remember or kind of remind me of the same shoe, to be honest with you. Puma MBL2, this is the Jade colorway with the gold, metallic gold hints. I was really a fan of this when it first came out, seeing it online. Kind of underwhelming when I saw it in hand, but the packaging is dope and the shoe overall is a good shoe. <laughs> Gotta get this content done, you know what I mean? Got the Digi Camel, one of the better colorways. This one actually was priced a little higher at like 140. The Digi Camel was one of like a special edition of the MBL2s and it definitely stands out with that orange outsole. Let me know what you guys think about this one. And of all the MBO2 colorways, let me know which one stands out to you the most. If I had to pick them in order, I would go probably the Oreo, Buzz City, then we got Rick and Morty, followed by DigiCamo. Let me know your order in the comment section below. Stopping by Foot Locker to add to the collection of Sabrina Ones. We found this colorway too, like a white and black TB vibe also. Let me know if you guys like this, 130 on the retail. So we have six colorways of the Nike Sabrina 1. Let me know which one you guys like the most. I do feel like this might be the first colorway that dropped. This colorway is actually one of the more creative ones. They do have these available on Nike by you also, which I haven't created my colorway yet, but at some point I will. 130 on the retail. This is the Spark colorway. What do you guys think about this one? Then they, got, then they have the Sabrina 1 in the uh, TB colorway, gray and white. 130 on the retail for these two. Team basketball colorways came out almost the same time as the regular colorways. So there's so many of these actually out here. Let me know what you guys think about this Wolf Gray colorway and how does this add up amongst the other ones that you guys will see in this video. One of the latest additions to the TB lineup for the Sabrina 1. This is the uh, Varsity Gold and White. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this colorway and how does this stack up amongst the other ones. Also 130 on the retail. Nike Sabrina 1 TB Green, not to be confused with the Lucky Green, or is this the Lucky Green colorway? I feel like this is not. This might be the TB colorway, which it is. The TB Green and White, you know, that Lucky Green is definitely uh, a fire colorway as well. What do you guys think about this one? Then we got the Black and White colorway too, also the Sabrina 1. This one's not a bad colorway. It can match with pretty much any jersey out there. Retailing for 130 bucks as well. Then we have the iconic colorway for the Nike Sabrina 1. Iconic. Got the iridescent splash on the outsole. Translucent outsole or partially translucent outsole. Heard a lot of good things about this colorway and this shoe overall. 130 on the retail. So for all the six colorways of the Nike Sabrina 1, let me know which one you guys are feeling the most, of course, in the comments below. We'll get a full review on one of these with some on feet. At the moment, we're just gonna look at them and see what they're talking about. I'm waiting for a better colorway to come out for myself, but of the ones you guys see, let me know which one you guys like. It's uh, Zoom Freak 5 in the white and black team colorway. This is not Oreo. This is just the white and black colorway. White dominant with the black accents. Let me know what you guys think about this color combination. They also have them in this wolf gray or college gray colorway for the TB and the uh, Zoom Freak 5. Not a bad color combination on these as well. You can never go wrong with that Kentucky Blue or Varsity Blue. This is definitely a fire color combination on this Zoom Freak 5. I definitely like this Kentucky Blue so far of the colorways that we've seen. The leather looks crazy on there. This Varsity Red colorway of the Zoom Freak 5 is not bad at all either. Red and white, red dominant, 
with the white accents, good leather on there. This is definitely fire too. It's between the red and blue one in my opinion. And of these Zoom Freak 5 colorways, these team colorways, which one do you guys like the most? I'd probably go with the Varsity Red, the Royal Blue, the Wolf Gray, then the Black and White. But let me know what you guys think. All of these are definitely impressive. So we have a new colorway of the Zoom Freak 5. This is not a TV colorway. I haven't seen this online yet, but let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments below. Pretty clean. It does have a translucent outsole. Pretty dope. Nike Giannis Immortality 3. Colorway is definitely not bad. Let me know what you guys think about this one. So we got the Immortality 3 here. Dope color combination. We got that same color combination on this Zoom Freak 5. I just noticed that after seeing both of them, I like this color combination. That maybe should have gave them some blue laces on the uh, Immortality 3. But this one's definitely not bad. Translucent also as well. So we have four colorways of the Puma MBO 3. This one represents his high school. A lot of people do like this colorway, that gray with the buff green popping out through the mesh scratches. 92, I guess that's the year he started going there or when he graduated, actually 92. Let me know what you guys think about these. 125 on this colorway. This one was like the first colorway I believe that came out. First or second colorway of the MBO3. Not a bad shoe. I just feel like it's a lot going on. Wasn't really my cup of tea. But let me know which one you know you guys are liking the most. This colorway to me when it first dropped was definitely solid and I still like it. Pretty nice colorway. I like the color combination on here. That purple, that pink, that volt green or lime green. These are pretty clean as well. But by far the best colorway right now is the Puma MBO3 Dexter's Laboratory. Have a full detailed review and on feet plus lace swapping plus lace tutorial on how to get these things on feet, how to lace them up and switch the laces. They do come with some pink laces on these. Of these four colorways, which one do you guys like the most?